Let's explore how to solve this tricky hexagon problem, which has an incredibly elegant solution. Six hexagons, each of which has a size length of one, are placed in a larger hexagon, which we don't know the size length of. But we are given that the distances shown here are three sevenths. And we're asked to find the area of the blue region inside the large hexagon but outside all the smaller hexagons. How do we even approach such a problem? We've got a star-shaped region on the inside, a lopsided star, and we've got these strange shapes on the outside. Let's try shifting all the hexagons. When we do this, we see our diagram suddenly becomes so much more simple. Now let's focus closely on this yellow triangle over here. Because the interior angle of a hexagon is 120 degrees, the angles of those triangles, the base angles, are 60 degrees. We would have that this angle is going to be 60 degrees because the sum of angles in a triangle is 180. Therefore, this triangle is equilateral, so the side length of the yellow triangle is 1. And because the red hexagon side length and green hexagon side length are also one, the total side length of the big hexagon is three. So now let's find the area of the large hexagon and subtract six times the area of the small hexagon. To do this, notice that we can divide a hexagon into six equilateral triangles, each of which has area given by the formula root three over four side squared. In this case, the side is three. And we multiply by 6 because we have 6 of these triangles. Similarly, for the small hexagon, we have 6 times root 3 over 4 times 1 squared. Now, let's factor out 6 times root 3 over 4. And we get 3 squared minus 6 times 1 squared, which is just 9 minus 6, or 3. Now, this is equal to 18 over 4 root 3, which is 9 root 3 over 2, our final area. So going back to our diagram, we can see that the area of the blue region in our shifted figure is 9 root 3 over 2. But we can shift it back to the original diagram and see that the blue area stays the same. It's still 9 root 3 over 2. Isn't that beautiful? For more fun math videos, make sure to subscribe.